सो वेलकम गाइज टू माई टी ट्वेंटी वन पोलो जी टी टी एस आई सो इट इज़ द न्यू बी एस सिक्स वर्जन विच हैज़ अ वन लीटर टी एस आई इंजन विथ थ्री सिलेंडर्स एंड इट प्रोड्यूस इज मोर पावर दैन बिफोर सो इट प्रोड्यूस हंड्रेड एंड एट बी एच पी द टॉर्क इज सेम एज वन सेवेंटी फाइव एन एम फ्रॉम द आउट साइड दिस कलर इज कॉल्ड कार्बन स्टील द थिंग्स एट आर अपडेटेड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वर्जन आर द जी टी आई फ्रंट बम्पर्स वी हैव द साइड स्कर्ट्स एंड द रियर and the rear bumper that is an aftermarket diffuser the fiber part is what you get with the car so it looks quite pretty it sits quite pretty on these awesome 16 inch wheels which are painted in gunmetal gray i really love the and spoke design with all the gaps in it so it gives a cool look to the car in stock form so let's get on inside the voice command system for the infotainment system we have the volume we have the next song previous song song selector we have this is for this so we can check how much average we are getting so we can use this mid system from here as in all german cars wiper is in right side and you have the indicator on the left we have the cruise control your cruise control has a very nice function i'll get to it shortly so we have the wiper here nice wipe <laughs> so we have the speed and these are auto wipers so if the water comes down it will automatically you can switch it off also it will automatically we don't have auto headlamps so these are the headlight switches i like this design on the right we have the vents switches. open close well it is quite a sporty layout the screen is pointed towards the driver we have very nice flat bottom steering wheel from Volkswagen really gives a nice sporty feel and at the night i will show it to you the lights are all red again adding that to the sporty feel and excitement while driving pretty small rear view mirror not small but it is accurate but it does hamper your vision while you look towards here because there is this is the very large older for mirror well the build quality is very nice we have this grab handles this is the lock and lock button so it, it works for all four we don't have individual locks these are the window switches window lock window unlock and this is switch for the mirror is like a nice joystick so we can adjust the mirrors so let's get to the part for which everybody is here i think sorry excuse the hair let's get to driving <laughs> so we have the traditional way of switching the car on through the key well the key i didn't get to it is a nice volkswagen key which you can also find in bugatti also if you don't believe me search it up the valet key for chiron so it has the key so we put it here is very quiet and stock form you cannot hear anything from the engine while driving so this is a new torque converter gearbox which everybody was skeptical about but it works really fine so it just went into second gear we didn't feel a thing so if you want to drive it gently it can be gentle and when you want to rip it will rip for you <laughs> so it has a very intelligent system to it so it anticipates the gear which you want to be and it downshifts according to that otherwise it will upshift early like i'm cruising gently so it upshifts into second and third which is very nice and I, i didn't feel a thing when the gear changed it is not as fast as a double clutch but it it does not feel jerky it does not feel slow at any point you won't notice until it decides to downshift which can be a bit slow and because of the torque converter but it works quite fine so this is drive mode and for first time in polo i think because i've driven the double clutch drive mode and sport mode just have the difference in changing the gear when the revs are up so in this actually you can feel the sport mode to be much more energetic than the drive mode so it feels less there like there's no turbo lag and it feels like a naturally aspirated motor and just want to go so now we are in sports mode Autonomous is very nice in sports mode. I 
surely thing it was not there in the previous GT it has the manual mode also so you can upshift, you can downshift so it feels like a sequential shifter it will automatically upshift if you redline it in manual and it will also downshift when needed so enough talking let's, let's see how it rips so we'll first try and drive mode then in sports mode so this is the drive mode it really pins you back in the seat and it is very very fast for a hatchback and it handles quite well also we'll see here so it can easily take a corner so traction control light is blinking yes we have to switch that off it easily took that corner at 46 so the handling is quite nice and the ride it can be stiff at sometimes but it is manageable i think it is comfortable because it doesn't feel loose on bumps and everything it is a quite a nice package so this is the drive mode it still feels very lively when driving people are getting scared flat out flat out flat out and we are just the car just hooks and wants to go and the brakes so we are at 120 brakes are quite fine also so the stock brakes aren't quite hook up like these brakes do so i have put on the ebc yellow stuff brakes Shock brakes were nice but it held on pretty good for 15,000 kilometers the brake pads but it weren't up to the mark like the performance this car has got the brakes weren't up to one so I would suggest modifying the brakes as, you, as soon as you get it or especially if you are deciding to tune it to stage 2 or something because it will be a must need cars feel quite nice so we are going over bumps doesn't unsettles the car or anything it just goes now we are at the fun part of the video so the car is quite lightweight so it weighs just 1090 kg it can be helpful in these kind of situations yes sir if you want you can switch off the traction control and have some fun with it there's a hatchback overall you have to have fun so it should be able to have fun and it does that pretty pretty epic way in a pretty epic way i'm not used to three pointer u-turn so that was the only way to get around road is pretty uneven i will just roll the clips from before which i'm i'm used to drifting if you follow me on instagram you might know if you don't now is your chance free while the offer lasts just kidding you can follow and follow but i'll roll the clips of drifting now so i am on less than quarter of tank on fuel we have the original car parts like we have the stephanie in the rear and everything so let's do a 0 to 100 so ac off traction off we are in sports mode so this is a torque converter so we can actually like try a bit of launch it is not recommended to do but we'll do it anyway so rev up release the brake full throttle So like most of the people I was also worried about the service cost and everything associated with the Volkswagen brand like the after sale service, the availability of spare parts etc. But I own the car for two years now so it just so when you when you first buy the car you have to take it to two services which are completely free first in the first month of owning and then in the six months of owning so those two are completely free then comes the annual service that is not free unfortunately so the annual service cost around 10 to 12k depending upon the work on the car so it usually should cost around 10 to 12k but there is a package you get if you want that is for 16k so it will take care of two annual services so that is two years so you will get a pretty good deal if you go with that i went with that also other than that 
in 18,000 kilometers I've driven in two years only cost is the fuel cost and changing the brake pads to EBC so I got the EBC yellow stuff from a friend so I, I would seriously recommend that because that is quite useful like you just saw we were going 120 and it just came to a complete stop in time to take that turn <laughs> It is pretty fun car and it reminds you of that. So they have put the money where the mouth is. So Volkswagen hadn't just given take more features and get done with it. They are focused on the handling part of the car. So steering is tight and city. So it is not very light and nimble like you get in newer cars like, Hon like Hyundai and Maruti. So it is tight. It gives you much more confidence in high speeds, but in city it can be a pain to drive around I really like the flat bottom steering wheel and it has quite a nice grip to it other than that we have the features like Apple CarPlay and everything and it works pretty well so if you have the Bluetooth if you have the Bluetooth on in your mobile and you just get in the car it will directly connect to it without you have to opening the phone and everything it will directly connect to it and play the last song which you were playing which is quite nice the traction control button i've i've wrapped these in carbon fiber myself it's not real carbon fiber the gear shifter is nice nice we have this aluminum type of thing around it and it feels feels pretty good to hold we have the 12 volt socket so there's no armrest in the middle so there's actually a highline plus version which has that armrest in the middle and it costs less than gt but it doesn't have these awesome seats.